Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostriv. I'm just sitting back here, kind of looking out over the, the, the town that we created last time. I'm pretty sure we're going to see this river freeze over soon. I'm running at just normal speed, so it may actually take a while. Well, let me kick it up a little bit. Anyway, that was a good episode last time. It, uh, the town went well, let's put it that way. I really had worries that things were going to go wrong. Let's kind of watch this as we're watching these guys. Let's see if... There it goes. Starting to freeze over now. Yeah, yeah we're, we're pretty well solid. I missed the house, but we got to see this. So that is house 9. Slow back down and let's think about things for a while. What is our game plan? And while we're thinking about it, I noticed that they changed their clothes. So when winter hit, they went into more of a of a, well, I want to say a coat, kind of reminds me more of a robe, more traditional Eastern European dress. Uh, so was the uh, the summer version, too. I didn't make comment of that last time. A much thicker, maybe like a wool, you know, clothing that's going to keep them warmer. Um, got our two our two loggers over here, our two foresters. They're bringing in a, another tree, and we still have our birch tree preserved over here. And the... Uh, um, the ash? Yeah, the ash tree is over here. Anyway, what else is in the queue is a trading post, which, you know, I did something between episodes. If you buy this game, there's a interesting file in the game, you know, when you head over to the folder where all the parts are called README Text. <laughs> it turns out there's instructions for the whole game in there. But, um, Trading will allow you to interact with all of these guys. And apparently you can click on the city once your trading post is done and you can start to negotiate. You hire a worker and he heads out to do the negotiations. So it'll be interesting to see how that works when we get to that point. Also, uh, fishing is going to be going in. We've got a boat dock, no, a boat house, boat yard. Over here they build the boats. And over here the fishing dock. You'll then get to... It doesn't show you here, so it'll change when we get there. But you then get to uh, uh, order a boat, and then the boat yard will build it. And then he'll, he'll row it over and drop it off. Kind of a neat thing to watch. And then we've got... What else? This guy. Got a farm going in. Now, if I were... If I recall from what I've read and what I've experimented with uh, with previous versions during the, the pre-alpha, a farm is able to do multiple fields. We'll have to verify that when we get to that point. But farm will come in and, and uh, kick the speed up a little. And uh, uh, it'll have you, it'll give you the option to build a field, which I want to say is either a field or a pasture, in the sense that it's either for crops or it's for cattle or for, for animals. So... We'll get to uh, get to see that. Hopefully, we, we survive the winter and get to that point. We cannot fish in the winter, but there is enough food, potatoes, and flour, to keep them going for a while yet. Supposedly until the next harvest. So we have till this next season coming up to get food. Also, something else that I learned by reading this is that the residents are actually paying rent. We got anything that gives that sense here? Nothing here. We click on the town. Is it here? Income. So house rent. That's how much is coming in with house rent. And so basically your workers have to receive a wage, which is what they're doing by working at the jobs, and then that wage pays the house rent to the city. So got a, a, a full-blown economy going on here. Anyway, so let these guys build so we can get something going on. We've got other things to explore, too. In fact, I'm going to take it back down to one speed. I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and enjoy it. Um, we've got benches. And I got to watching these folks just before I started up, and they're still sitting out here in the cold. And I'm wondering if I put benches out, if they would go and, well, sit on a bench in the cold. What if we just pop one in right over here? Will they choose a bench over a log? Just kind of curious. Um, no. Wait, was he getting up? No. <laughs> Let's, where else can we put a bench? 
I'm going to put them out in front of the houses. Well, we have this dead zone in front of the house. I don't quite understand that. don't know if that's going to remain or if that's just a, what was convenient for you know the initial build of the game. seems like this area right here should be available to build something in because you know they're not going to walk through the fence. So you don't need to protect that because it's not an access way anyway. I can see leaving some orange out over here, but we should be able to put a, a, a bench or a tree or something right in there. Um, let's do that right there. Let's see what happens while we're waiting for building materials to show up over here. Boy, that camera can go fast. And speaking of fast, I have to go fast too because I just put a bunch of fudge brownies in the... Uh, in the oven that I'm going to enjoy when I'm done recording this. They're walking over to sit on the bench. How cool is that? And, you know, these guys work really hard, so we should give them a place to, uh, you know, take a break. Yeah, there's that's where they can have their lunch break over there. Can I? I can't put one in a piece of, in a property, though, in a house now, so they don't interact with the models yet. Okay. Anyway, what else is in here that we didn't get to experiment with? Um, this is something. No market. So migration status. People will not come to the town until all four of those requirements are met. And I was thinking that the trader had to do with that, but I believe now it has more to do with the market stall, which sells up to four goods to citizens. So these buildings are permanent. Unless we destroy them. I don't think destroying a building is in the game yet. So I'm kind of picturing a main road through here. I'm picturing a main road through here. How about right on this corner? Something like that. Let's see. Let's, let's rotate. Let's see. T? Yeah. I think that looks a little bit better. Right in there. Oh, that insta-builds. Okay. This... We can hire a worker, and this is one of the jobs that the women are allowed to work. So I'm thinking this, what was it, did I say 18th century or 1800s? Let me go back to my notes that I read last time. Um, digging through pages here, 18th century, so 1700s. So if you want to keep it traditional to the 1700s, there were limitations that were, that were put on people and, and stereotypes and what have you. That uh, men work these jobs and women work those jobs. So that's the game is trying to stay true to how it was back then. So the lumber, the lumberjacks are men, but the market stalls are women. So and there, I'm sure there are other jobs I haven't gotten to yet that'll be women because we've got. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Click out of that one so you can hover over and get some information, or you can click on it and get a lot more information. So what we were seeing there is right here. Now we're going to see the rest of it. We've got still seven people looking for a job. Does it... Unemployment, 87% are women. So in other words, there are still seven women or six, whichever, you know, I see there's one man in here too that's still looking for something to do. So we've got, we could do more market stalls. I'm sure some of these other buildings would work as well to where eventually we get everybody employed when we get the whole town diversified. You know, I mean, all, all the different kind of buildings that are out here that, that are available to us. Market stall is one of them. Bridge. Let's play with this a moment. The trader's right there. And we have the archway here and the archway here, and I thought about making a road go through. Thinking when I put the boat yard and the fishing dock in that I would run a road between. Not quite. Let's see, back off, and is there any way to get that angle in there? No. So one of those buildings needs to move and this would probably I could put the the boat yard out over here and then we can see him send the boat across to the fishing dock so let's demolish this one can't demolish this building not implemented yet ah delete doesn't exist yet okay then mr boat yard gets to stay <laughs> let's um now the bridge isn't all that important right now it would be nice to see that implemented 
Tell you what, let's put it in there, but pause it. Uh, where do I want? Right here, transportation. Where can we go? I guess we're stuck with here or here. What makes most sense? We have a pretty strong pathway working diagonally through here. What if we came off from this direction? Do something like that. What looks best? That's pretty much straight across the river right there. Make it longer and spend more money, more materials. I can drop it off right there. Let's go up to there. That looks better. Click. All right, that's in place, but let's pause it. We might find that we're desperate for uh, for uh, materials and, and uh, trying to get other jobs done. In fact, where are we? We're in December. We're nearing the end of December. So the game started March. So I'm assuming that snow goes away March 1st. If that's the case, we've got what, two months and a week or so to get uh, as much done as we can to be prepared to bring food in. Um, market stall. Hired her. Fish. We'll be making fish. Is there anything else we can count on making? Really not. Well, nothing yet. Unless dried fish comes in. Okay, so we have... Each market stall could handle four sellers, and we have the ability to run one. Okay, so Marina is going to be selling fish. All right, this one, workers. Now, there was something about a manager that could be employed here. We're not built yet, so these workers may well be the temporary workers for the construction crew. That's right, okay. Never mind on that one. We've got to wait for it to get built. What else is there to discuss while we're waiting? Water. Something else I was noticing. The well has a sense of, of quantity that gradually refills. I saw that over here. Our water is going up. Is anybody walking over there yet? If we happen to be here when the next person walks over there, can I rotate while I'm in this mode? I cannot. Let's go over like this so it's in our screen. And click on not that. There we go. Water is gradually refilling. So think of the aquifer leaking in and filling up the reservoir here. As someone walks over and pulls water out, it drops. So the more people that you've got living here using that water, there you go. 5.97 just dropped to 6. It didn't drop. It's going to make a liar out of me. <laughs> well, I've seen it drop before. It just didn't do it then. But um, one, it would take one away each time they used it. So then it would slowly refill again. So you can see the, the need for a second well when you get more people here. But that was odd. It didn't go down. It did when I was uh, just kind of snooping around in here before I started recording. Interesting. Anyway... A sense of progress, we are, well, I'm going to say, at the three-quarter mark right there. We're right in here and getting the trading post done. Get to see how that works. So we've got that one paused. We've got our two boats, and then we've got a farm. So the farm is over here. What else do we really need to get going? The, not hay dryer, the hay barrack. I didn't mean to click that. Pull out. I want to pop up hay storage. Okay, let's go back to the other one. Hay dryer. Produces hay from nearby grass. This is the one right here. When you place hay dryers, laborers or cow shed workers, we have a cow shed to build, will mow nearby grass or cut it down and leave it for, uh, for drying to produce hay. Hay is used as food for animals in winter. So if we put that out, I am guessing that it will just start to collect hay as workers come by and fill it. So it wouldn't hurt just to pop that in somewhere. It uh, is basically just a reservoir, you know, like the clay over here. It's just going to start building up for us. So someplace where we're not going to want to build later. Would it be odd over here? Don't know if the ground type is going to work for that. You'd think it would be out over here, but I don't know where the fields are going to be. 
let's pop one in over here. They can walk through this, and they can be one right over here. And looks like that insta builds. Is there a cost involved? Uh, you're this one. No cost. So let's put a second one out there. And we'll have the potential of being able to feed a cow in the winter should we be fortunate enough to get a cow for the winter, which comes out of trading. And I'm assuming that iron comes out of the trading too. Let's look at this a minute. If I just click it right there. So we've got 44 wood. I put the two workers back in when we when I accidentally forgot to put one back in last time and we didn't get this house built in time. So we're gradually building up. Firewood is kind of holding steady at 95. So I guess we've got, we're bringing in as much as we need. 95 I think is where it was set as a max. Uh, nails are at 1,000. I don't have anybody working in there right now because I don't know if there's another use for iron. I don't think there is. But I don't want to hit zero on that. Um, clay is our total quantity, not what's in reserve in a sense, but what's left available out of that clay pit over there. Thatch, we're at 20. And I wonder, this guy gives us a sense of limits. I never paid attention to this building. Is there a sense of limits over here? There is. So thatch and reed. Okay. So we could say, we, I don't want you to waste time storing so much and go off and do some other jobs. He's... Now here's where I'm a little confused. I could free him or release him from here since we're not using him right now so he's available to do other jobs but that makes him unemployed does he then not be able to afford his house see that's i'm a little uh, i'm not too certain just how the economy works yet is he getting paid when there's nothing for him to do or is he essentially unemployed right now but the job is reserved for him so those are questions i don't have answers for um it would be nice to get the boats going. It really would. I wonder if I divert this. Let's do that. I want to get food going as soon as spring hits. If I were to do that, theoretically, it shifts labor over to this guy. I wonder if after this load of wood is delivered, in other words, after everybody who has received the command to go do something has completed that command, Will no more uh, jobs be done? Where are you going? Oh, this is a, the official drop-off point, I guess. Okay. And will they shift over to, to work on this one instead? I'd be curious to see if that's the case. All right. Let's go ahead and speed it up one notch. Now that I've done lots of talking. Anything else from the README file that was interesting? Um, cows? You can buy cows from outside. So the trader. But make sure you have a cow shed. Are you over here in transportation? Cart parking. Granary. Market stall. No, so you must be in here somewhere. Cow shed. A place for breeding cows and milk production. All right. So we need to get one of those in for a cow to show up, as well as have some hay available. Okay. Um, pop back over there. Kind of nice that I have uh, edge scrolling here as well because I'm holding this paper with my other hand where I would normally be hitting the WASD. So I guess you guys can watch this complete? No. I guess the building materials that had made it here are being used, but no more is going to be delivered. Never mind. Export stock. Wood, thatch, wood. Let's export wood. How much? Let's take you up to 20, just to kind of see how this works. Resource supply, question mark. Build a trading post and hire a manager to be able to create new trade routes. Assign workers for loading and unloading of trade wagons. I'm thinking that's the question mark from down in here. Okay, so well, here's your manager. Now, a manager requires a right-click to cancel, requires a an, an educated employee. So we could leave that there. I don't know if any of ours came with education. It's possible they did. I remember in Banish, the first group that came in were educated. Let's randomly pick somebody and slow it down so I can click on somebody right there. Carrying wood. Education zero of five. Okay. 
Um, right here, zero of five. And there's not another person available on the map. It's cold out there. This is a child, right? Age three, yeah. Yep, they're, they're uh, oh, here we go. Here's somebody right there. Education one of five. And you are there, there. Let's scroll in here. There we go. One in five. And one in five. So I wonder if one in five is enough to be considered educated. We'll hire one worker just to get a sense of how this works. Anyway, cows. That's where I was. Uh, be sure to have the cow shed and a field assigned to it before you buy them. So a field will come out of the farm over here. Also, if they arrive in the autumn, make sure you have enough hay stored for the winter. So that's where the hay comes from. We still need to uh, store it in a hay barrack. Which could be basically anywhere. Hmm. Let's... Is there a front and back, or is this uh, accessible all the way around? Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's at least straighten you up a little bit. It, would this be a road, though? Let's pop you in. Actually, let's pop you pretty central to both of them. Kind of like that. Both of them can feed this thing. Okay. Uh, cows. If you have a farm field that is fallow this season, you can use it to pasture your cattle. So that's also something to talk about. The Well, we'll see it more when it actually happens, but farming, let's see here, I was reading that. There's three nutrients in each field's soil. Let me go back to two speed while I'm chatting here. So there we are, three nutrients for each field's soil growing each season for the same crop will exhaust one or more of those uh, of those three uh uh, nutrients. So we've got the sense of crop rotation. You want to not have the same crop in the same field. So when we do get a farm going, we get to see that there are uh, there's a sense of nutrients in there and nutrient levels and which crops will grow the best in the current conditions. So you can rotate your crops around. Now I don't know if you can just pick a crop and go or if you need to get seed through the trader. So, oh, we have a manager. Let's play with that. If I clicked here, what do we got? No active deals. Distance is six days away. All right. There's nothing in here. It's just a river system. All right. Over here, no active deals. Oh, we could send a messenger. Oh, that's 16 days away. Cost of 80, cost of 30, cost of 90. Okay. Cost we have available to us. Nothing. <laughs> it'll, it'll come in as a negative, won't it? Yeah, we're not making enough to to do that. I think we are going to store five wood, okay? We're going to send you away. I don't think we truly need this right now. Working? Yeah. What I want to do is wait until one of the other cities comes to us with a deal. See if that is possible. I don't know if we have to have a manager in place to receive that deal, though. Now, I see working then taking a rest. Interesting. Is that? Do we get a sense of that down on the building? Let's see right here. Are you in a rest phase? Show path follow. No, nothing like that. So just the manager shows that information. Okay. Where was I? Cows. Fields. There we go. In summer, cows graze in a pasture. But for winter, you'll need to stock some hay. Build hay dryers and hay barracks for storage. Laborers and cow shed workers will mow grass around the hay dryer and put it out to dry. Build a slaughterhouse to produce beef and hides. Set livestock limits and cow shed properties to slaughter excess. So that's, when I read that, that made me wonder about what this was to slaughter excess. So we're saying that we have 20 to supply to, to trade or we'll trade everything over 20. 
So does the trader have similar qualities to the, uh, the cow shed? So trade, the trading post, build it, hire a manager, then go to the world map, click on any city and send a messenger. When he's there, he'll make a deal to sell or buy something. Need to have workers at the trading post to unload wagons. Okay. So, do we get a sense of what the manager does? Is he needed, or does he just make things more um, efficient, more, you know, a better deal? Because when we go to... Oh, where was I reading that one? Fishing, farming, laborers... There was one that talked about the town hall. Um, not there. Construction? Well, it's here somewhere. And it's not jumping out at me right now. Houses, workers, laborers, farming, cows, fishing, population. That would be a good place for it. No, nope, not there either. And trade. Well, it's here somewhere. I'll see it as soon as I'm done recording. But, yeah, the README uh, file in the game does give a lot of information that you don't see obvious on the screen. Kind of give you a heads up on what's going on. So we are into January. Let's run this game till we get the first of spring. And how are we doing, by the way? Let's, wow, this camera's wild. Uh, we want to get this guy finished. We have got laborers that bring the stuff over and then workers that build it. So it just kind of cycles in and out of these guys. And this whole process happens based upon how many workers are available. So I think I will toss the manager for now and get one more person into the pool here to uh, to bring things over, which is happening right now. We just got 10 wood while oh, waiting for 15 wood. So we've got 20 wood and 70. How much wood is in our storage right now? 36 wood. So we're keeping up with projects. There's already some building supplies sitting over here waiting to go in. All right, so we've got a boat yard going up. And... We're in this area right now. 29 wood and 58 nails. That should take quite a while to install. So we get should get quite a show here for a little bit. Where's a better angle? Can I get down any lower? There. So we'll watch that a little bit while I scan the uh, the notes. See if I can figure out what it was that I was reading about. A manager at the, at the uh, town hall. In fact, you know, it might just tell me. Town Hall does not. Unlocks more ways to control your town. Okay, so it gives you more information. I think the manager is what unlocked that information. I think that's what, at least the sense that I got from that. Though, we're going to be lucky to get basic food up and going, let alone add more projects. Speaking of basic food, so what is left? Need to get these guys going and get fishing going as soon as we hit the end of February. I don't think we're going to get there. But we'll definitely have food coming in sometime before we freeze up again. Um, the farm will be next. Is there anything else that will really help with the food? So that's all going to be in here. Farm windmill. So if what we are farming has to be milled, we need this. Or if what we're farming has to be milked, we need this. So <laughs> slaughterhouse, tannery. So we got quite a, a chain here. They just finished over there. Let's spin around here while we're looking. Right there. And I'm not going to employ this one yet. Yeah, no workers until this guy is built and has a call in to get a boat built. So there's no point in wasting the labors. So we're working on this. We'll watch this while I'm looking at whatever I was looking at right here. So what I was about to say was we've got a farm which will then have a pasture with cattle and the cow shed will, will oversee it. We then have a slaughterhouse to produce meat and leather which will then go to like the tanner factory did i see tanner i know i see a tannery which will make leather from the hides and then the the uh shoemaker shop will make shoes from the leather and you need the the hay to make that all happen so there's a, a whole uh, production line right there we also get into is it hemp I want to say that from the farm and the field that, wow, they're moving whole decks over. That's impressive. 
<laughs> Talk about modular construction. Um, the tailor, yeah. Actually, where's the textile mill? That's what I'm looking for. Textile, textile. No? Something made textile. Weaver produces textile from hemp, which you grow from the farm. Take the textile to the tailor shop to make clothes. So clothes for our people and clothes to sell on our little market stall over there. Or to trade from the trader. So yeah, there's quite a complex economy to uh, to get into there. Is there anything else for food? I need to get into the uh, into the the queue up here. I don't know. Until the farm is built, I don't know what choice we're going to make. And to be honest, that's probably not going to be decided till about the end of next episode. But we have this going. Let's go back to one. Let's put in. Now, can I order? I can order boats without hiring a fisherman. Good. Let's hire two workers to get those boats going. A boat is going to require wood. So we're going to put a, a, a queue in here pretty soon saying we need wood since we get a, a worker over here. Kick the speed up again. And hopefully this will queue up soon. We'll get to see this process happen. I believe they build the boat right in here. Yeah, they just launch it down the dock there. be nice to have one of these in place at the end of February. Fishing going right at the time it's ready to deliver the boat. That would be perfect. Then we'll start building the farm. Now, the farm... I was watching uh, Pete Storm do the. I uh, play this game on his uh, his Twitch stream, and he got into the farm and he wanted to set up a field, but it required a plow. So you don't get a plow until you trade for a plow, and you have to then get some oxen, which you have to have the cow shed up, and the hay, and a pasture, so that the oxen have a place to to live, so that you can then pull that plow to plow up the field. But then plow seasons in the spring, so this is a long process. You don't just pop seeds in the ground and, and uh, you know start creating wheat like in banished there, there's a there's a there's a production chain to uh, to be aware of here we have a worker we are calling for 10 wood so he must be off getting that wood he probably is where is he right now oh he delivered it he's going off to get more card is empty no he he's going to do something with that wood he went down to say, oh, I need 10 more. <laughs> and he's going to get 10 more. But we have another worker who is going to what? He's not using the 10 wood. He's just going to sit here and oops, twiddle his thumbs and wait for that 10 wood to arrive, isn't he? Yeah. So that's where the game could be more optimized later. You know, not have to go drop off the cart and then come back and figure out what you need to do, then go get the cart, then go get it, then come back and then drop off the cart, then come back and figure out what you want to do. But that's all, you know, a process that takes time. Get the, the basic code for the game to make it work, and then we'll maybe go back and figure out how to find some shortcuts in here so that the process goes a little quicker. That's a bunch of reeds, isn't it? Ooh, spring is happening. It is. The reeds are being un are melted. So this is a pile of... Was this a pile of reeds that is being used for these? No, that's just ground, isn't it? The higher points in the ground are melting first? I think so. I think it's kind of an elevation thing. Yeah, little patches here and there starting to show up. I'll slow it down a bit for the next couple of minutes and we'll kind of watch spring come in still we're working on or almost f we are finished yeah we're working on the farm okay so we have queued up two boats we've ordered two boats i mean we are we got 20 wood in there can't complete an order in the winter you can't even start building it uh all right well that'll be something that'll start up March 1st. Okay. Otherwise, spring is rolling in. So let's go ahead and speed up the game back to 2, or middle speed, and we'll just kind of watch spring start to uh, roll into here. Is there anything else for me to talk about while we're waiting? If not, then I'll speed up the rest of the way. Now, you guys can watch this. I'm going to look down at the paper here. Uh, farming. Let's read through farming real quick. Row crops, you need a farm and field assigned to it. 
So click on Add Field on the Farms Property panel and designate Growing Area. Choose a crop and activate uh, to start sowing or plowing if plowing is available on a farm. There are three nutrients in a, fo a field soil growing each season of uh, the same crop. One field is exhausting for the soil and it'll, it'll hello spring. I just looked up. Nice. And we just hit March 1st. Hit the one over there. Um, hire a manager on a farm to allow automatic crop rotation with up to six slots. That tells me that you can have six fields for one farm. The six slots. That's what the way I'm reading that. We'll see if that's the case. Or you can rotate them manually if you don't have a manager. You can order a plow for field plowing, which restores fertility. Ah, I thought the cattle did that, so plowing does it too. For that, you you uh, will need two adult, one year or more oxen, and a carpenter. So carpenter is a building. Carpenter, I think that makes your plow. Build carts, wagons, and plows, and simple furniture. Okay. I see, yeah, I was thinking plow is metal, but actually a plow is mostly wood. If you think back to the old plows, they weren't all metal. They were they were a wood frame, and the, the part that went into the ground was, was metal. Although it's possible you can make it out of wood too, right? I'm thinking that part's metal, though. Um, one last line here. Only assigned farm workers plow fields. Okay, so your hired workers, not your seasonals. And uh, if the if the plow is available, but for other field work, additional laborers are hired automatically. Okay. So with that, I think we're going to call this one done. We'll get into spring officially next episode and see how a lot of this stuff works. In fact, we should already see a boat. Yep, there's the, the skeleton already starting to be formed. So I'm going to pause it right there, and maybe we'll start at this point next time. So it's been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching and learning this game with me, and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.